ओके सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक दिस इज वीरेन कुमार सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टेजेस वी हैव क्रिएटेड द वन पाइपलाइन वी डिफाइन द वन स्टेज एंड द जॉब्स देन वी हैव एग्जीक्यूटेड द पाइपलाइन एंड वी हैव सीन द रिजल्ट ऑफ द पाइपलाइन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मल्टी स्टेज कॉन्फिगरेशंस व्हाट and how we can do the multiple stages configuration into the system okay in previous video it was the single stage configurations and the single job configurations now we are going to discuss about the multi stage configuration okay so your pipeline may have the multiple stages okay that means the pipeline we can define the more than one stages into one pipeline and each with the multiple jobs and every stage can have the multiple jobs so we have the stages okay under the stages we have the stage a and we have the stage b so this is the one stage okay if you organize your pipeline into the multiple stages you can use the stages keyword so stages stage 1 and 2 Okay, so on my screen you can see that we have the two agents, okay, and one agent is with the stage and one agent with the job. Now, which agent will execute for which one? So you can see if you choose to specify a pool at the stage level, we have defined this pool as the stage level. Then all the jobs defined in that stage, all the jobs defined in that stage, will use that pool. will use that pool until or unless we define a pool at the job level so now with this pool is defined at the job level a2 so for the job a2 i have defined the pool job pool so this job will run on the job pool but this job is single job so it will take by default the stage pool okay so this is the bit con um, concept about the pool for the stage level and the job level so which one it will take now let's see on the yml pipeline editor how it will work so this is our previous stages we have created and under this we have the stage 1 and this is the stage 2 okay now let's create one more stages okay so i'm just going to copy let's paste it here so stages is already defined so this is array is already defined so what we can do we can remove these ones and you can see the multiple stages are defined so stage a stage b and stage c and this is the job c okay now we have the stage d so now we have the four stages are there d so this is the job d now you can see there are the multi configuration of the stages so stage a okay and then we have the stage b then we have the stage c and then we have the stage d so we have the four stages in this pipeline under the stages array and all the stages will execute on the ubuntu latest vm images okay so let's save it and let's try to run this pipeline this is called the multi configuration of the pipeline so this is the stage a so suppose this is a build stage this is the step b this is the test stage this is the uat environment stage and this is the production environment stage so and all these stages will go by one by one so in the sequential manner and that if you see the jobs are there so job a will queued and these jobs will wait for the agent to be run so where this job will run it will run on the ubuntu latest okay so these stages these are the multi level stages stage a stage b stage c and the d so one by one they will execute 
okay the jobs specified under these stages So stage A is completed. Now it's going to execute the stage B. And the job A is completed. It will start the job B. So like that it will execute this step A, B, C, D. Okay. On the same agent. So now according to this concept, let's try this concept. We have the VM image. Okay, so I'm going to remove this pull information. Now we have the stages only there. So now I want to run this stage at the space pull. So I want to define the pull and under the pull name is VM okay so now we define the two agents at the stage level and the job level okay now I'm going to remove the these stages part okay now we have this pull so we'll cut this part now with the stages now i'm going to define the agent as the stage level so we have the stage level pull okay and pan. We have the pull here. Okay, now name of the pull is PM image. Okay, so this uh, this is the pull under the stage, and the display name is a. Now we will define the one more pull as the job level. So what I will do, I will come here at the job. I will type the pull and under I have the VM image. So let's copy and paste it here. And I'm just going to run on the windows on the cloud microsoft hosted agent so we have the two agents at the stage level and one agent is as the job level so which one it will take so let's try to define the job one more job dash hyphen job colon then this is the job b okay so we will type the display name so display name we can see job b is running on window machine okay so now i'm going to save this pipeline okay I'll just save it pipeline and then run the pipeline now you can see the job a and job b is running on the windows machine so both jobs are in the same queue okay so let's try to explore this one so job a is running on the ubuntu machine and the job b is running on the windows machine okay 
and the job A is defined at the stage level. So it's taking the stage level pull information and the job B is defined at the job level. So it is taking the job level pull information. So there are the two agents. The concept is saying the first concept that you can define the pull information at the stage level and at the job level. Okay. It's not necessary we can define the pull information always in the starting. If you want to run all the stages in the job on the same agent then you can use to define the pull at the beginning of the YML scripting.